and we're back with more of Welcome to Ponyville. We just got out of the Everfree Forest with uh, Fluttershy because her bunny angel ran away. But we found him and everything's safe and sound. So let's uh, see what happens next. Starting to get starting to get late. I should probably head over to that uh, Trixie Variety Hour show or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, we're going to go see Trixie too. That should be interesting. Well, I'm just outside Town Hall, but I don't see any other ponies here. I It should be about time for the for her show to start. I guess Twilight was right. No pony in Ponyville wants to see her perform. Still, it might be worth sticking around for. <clears throat> Excuse me, voice cracked. Hey, there's another pony. Guess I'm not the only one who showed up to show up. Hi there. For a minute, I thought I was going to be the only pony here. Huh? Who are you? Um, this is where Trixie is performing, right? Of course it is. Didn't you see the stage? Uh... That magnificent work of theatrical presentation. Only one mare is worthy of laying her hooves upon it. And that mare is the great and powerful Trixie. Okay, I really do not like your voice. It really creeps me out. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. I don't even know who you are. I don't recognize it. Like, it looks like the Newton thing, but... I don't know. I don't like your voice, though. What is... What is this guy's story? I see, so, uh... I take it you're a fan of her. I've seen all of her shows. Ugh. Every. Single. One. She's always spectacular. Her magic simply cannot be touched. And her beauty... I once heard Celestia was secretly jealous. Okay, so this guy sounds like a stalker. Uh-huh. What did you say your name was again? My name? I'm Sethisto. Yeah, never heard of you. I mean, you might be a pony, an OC, but I've never heard of you. That I don't even know how to pronounce your name. That sounds kind of familiar. Does it? It should. I'm in charge of the number one newspaper at Equestria. Oh. The Equestria Daily. Perhaps you've heard of it. I don't think I've heard of you. Oh well. Sounds familiar. I think I've read an issue or two. So what brings you here? You said you've seen all of Trixie's, sh Tri Trixie's shows. That's right. I attend every one of her shows. And I have the largest selection of Trixie-based art in Equestria. <laughs> Her shows always make the front page. Well, of course, you're the editor. I really don't like this guy. She's very popular. And for good reason. She's great and powerful. Hmm. How could any pony top that? Uh, Twilight can totally top that. <laughs> Obsessed much? I see you running the biggest newspaper in Equestria. That must be tough. It's not easy. We release a new issue daily. Uh -huh. I have to make certain the good ponies of Equestria get quality artwork and entertaining comics each and every day. He kind of reminds me of Batman. But that's nothing compared to what Trixie does. Speaking of Trixie, uh. I think the show is about to start. Okay, no, you don't say something like that in that type of tone. It sounds way too creepy. <laughs> I don't want to sit next to you. I feel like I'm gonna get raped or something. Oh, the show's a- Ooh. <laughs> a little pop. Come one, come all! And witness the most amazing magic of the great and powerful... Trixie! What an entrance. Watch in awe as the great and powerful Trixie performs the most spectacular feats of magic ever. Wait, one, two, two, two ponies came to see me perform? Yeah, well that burden up, up in that tree might be looking too. After the rude way Trixie was treated the last time she came to Ponyville, Trixie is disgusted. Yeah, we're kind of disgusted too, get off the stage. Trixie will not be returning to Ponyville. Good. You'll all have to find your amazement elsewhere. That's fine. Hmm. Well, that didn't last long. Hey, sit. Where did that guy go? 
Trixie seemed pretty upset. Maybe I should go talk to her. No! Ugh. Why do I insist on making friends? <laughs> um, Trixie? Trixie is not available right now. You're right there, and you're sipping a... Latte? <laughs> yeah, I can understand. I just wanted to talk to you about your performance. Hmm. Uh, you don't deserve an audience. You still have fans. I, s I still like to see your show. I'll say she still has fans. You still have fans. You shouldn't get discouraged. You still have fans all over Equestria. That's Sethisto. Sethisto guy. It was certainly a big fan. And I'm sure he's not the only one. Every performer has at least one show that doesn't go their way. I guess that... I guess what I'm trying to say is don't let... Don't... Let it get you down, okay? I... That... Hmm. Trixie does not need your pity. Trixie was obviously too much for the simple-minded citizens of Ponyville. They must be intimidated by me. No, they're pissed off at you, actually. That isn't exactly what I... However, Trixie appreciates your sentiment and concern. Though she does not need it. It is still nice to hear praise. Hmm. Hmm. Get some water there. When was I praising her? Unlike Ponyville, Trixie knows how to be appreciative. And the ones I appreciate most are my fans. Okay. You, my loyal fan, have shown great courage in coming to me like this. I know it can be frightening to be so close to the great and powerful Trixie. I'm not your fan. <laughs> Trixie was planning on leaving Ponyville tonight. But she has had a sudden change of heart. Oh. Trixie will stay in Ponyville as a service to her true fans. Oh. Such as yourself. Good job, me. You just made her stay. <laughs> um, thank you? Yes, yes, I know. Trixie's generosity truly knows no bounds. As a reward for being such a loyal fan. Here. Do I get money? No. I get an autograph. Trixie's autograph received. Oh, thank you, Trixie. Sarcasm. You're welcome, my loyal fan. Ugh. Stop by later, perhaps. For now, Trixie needs her rest. Good night. Trixie's wagon has been added to your map. She is now an acquaintance. I really don't want her as an acquaintance. Well, that was interesting. I think I've had enough adventures for one day. Time to go home. Yeah, let's go have more nightmares. Because that's certainly what we need to finish off the night. Good to be home. Hmm. I think I'll hang up Trixie's poster. Might help liven up the place a bit. <laughs> One poster. Oh dear, who's that? Final must be looking for a room again. I thought I told you to- Oh! Oh, Twilight, what brings you over? Hey. Sorry for dropping by unannounced. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. No, not at all. I just got home. I wanted to talk to you about Trixie. Trixie? I heard about her show. Apparently only two ponies showed up to see her perform. I understand she was pretty upset. She definitely wasn't too happy. I was actually on my way to speak to her about it. But then I ran into her in town. She wasn't what I'd call pleasant. But she didn't seem upset. She actually seemed happy. Of course, that didn't stop her from flinging a few insults my way. But still, I know you said you were going to see her perform. Did you happen to say anything to her? Yeah, I went to her wagon and tried to cheer her up. <laughs> Thank you for being nice to her. Why are you thanking me? Because, while I can't stand braggarts, I think there's some real good in Trixie. When I heard about the show, I was worried she'd leave town. Whatever you did, you made her want to stay in Ponyville. Looks like you even got her autograph. I'm actually hoping she and I can become friends. Yeah, fat chance of that, Twilight. Anyways, I should probably be going. I still need to tuck Spike in. Oh. I just wanted to thank you. Well, that, and... I've got a good feeling about you. You seem different somehow. Like, there's something special inside you. Yeah, apparently it might be something dark. I mean, thank you! Are, 
are you coming on to me? Wow, you're being right out forward on that. Oh, she's like, uh, no. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, whoopsie, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. What I mean is that you seem like a really good pony. I suppose I did word that kind of strange. A little bit, a little, little bit. Well, good night. I'll see you later, Twilight. I think I've had enough crazy for one day. Time for sleep. I'll shower in the morning. Alright, let's have another nightmare. Nightmare! What did I say? Nightmare time. Oh, not another nightmare. Oh, it's my room. No. Wait. Huh? This is different. Do we go outside? Oh, yeah, we went outside. Hello? Why does this feel different than the other nightmares? This one feels so real. Because the other ones felt real too. Well, I guess we're just... The moon is very bright tonight. Angel! What are you doing out here? Hey, don't go running off into the forest again. Get back here, that's dangerous. Okay, I guess we're chasing after Angel. Ooh. Oh, I know where I am, but she doesn't know where she is. Oh no, where am I now? Great, chase the white rabbit and now I'm gonna fall off a cliff. Wind? Brr, it's cold. Hold on, I feel cold? Oh dear. I'm not dreaming. Whoa. Awesome music. Ah, oh, to be continued. Just turn the music down a bit. All right. Just let the credits go. So that was the uh, an interesting game. Just giving uh, people a moment so that they can be seen and known. Uh, yeah, so really good game. Oh, music stopped. Yeah, music stopped. Nope, <laughs> never mind. So these are the people who done the voices. Who done the voices? That makes so much sense. Who did the voices? And um, basically, they're. I wish that there was a uh, act two and three, but uh, there isn't because uh, it got stopped. The production of the game got stopped or it halted for a minute. Um, I don't know if they are going to make more games. They really should because it's a good story. Um, I want to know what's going on with our nightmares. Lots of people. <laughs> yeah, no one knows who did that creepy guy's voice there. Gilda? Who's Gilda? Oh well. Nope. More rock music. Princess Cadence is in this? Shut. Wow, I really missed a lot. Yeah, I guess there was more characters in here than I thought. Special thanks to these lovely peoples and companies. Him of Equestria Daily. Brony Show. D-pad, Brony Inquisitor. Do-do-do. Ooh, living, living Tombstone. Okay. Oh, so the people who made this was uh, Philly's game, Games team. The entire Brony community. Yay! 
individual artist, font, thank you for participating, oh shush, we're just going through the credits, yeah so they say they can't wait to get the second act out, um, yeah, and then yeah, thank you for playing, and I'll just let, and I will say thank you for watching me play, so, um, yeah, awesome game. I really love it. Uh, if you guys do want to check it out, um, then I will, um, find a way to post a, um, the link in the bottom of the last episode. So, uh, yeah. Alright. So this is, uh, Puzzle Pieces signing off of this game. Hope you guys have had fun, and always play games.